What's good with y'all boys, DX here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be giving y'all a tutorial on how to do a VHS rewind effect for your music videos. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So in After Effects, we have my timeline right here. I've got footage from the Junie Jordan Ward uh, Jealousy music video. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm from DC, the DMV, so... You know what I'm saying? I'll try and use artists from there for my tutorials. That's besides the point. So our footage looks like this. So let me show you how to actually achieve the rewind effect. So what you're gonna wanna do basically is just take your clip and go ahead and press Control D on your keyboard to duplicate it. And then go into the time and go ahead to time stretch and then change that to negative 100. After you do that, you have the reverse footage. So once you have that, that's when you wanna go ahead and start adding the effects. Starting off, you'll want to slow the frame rate down, so we'll go ahead and add posterized time. After you've done that, just go ahead and change the frame rate to half of what yours is. Mine's is 24, so half would be 12. After that, we want to bring the saturation down, so we'll go ahead and add hue and saturation and bring the saturation down negative 40. After you've done that, go ahead and add grain. Go ahead and change the viewing mode to final output and change the intensity to 1.5. After you've done that, go ahead and add unsharp mask change the amount to 250 and change the radius to four. After that, go ahead and add fast box blur, change the iterations to one, change the blur radius to two. And after you've done that to add black bars and make it four by three, go ahead and add motion tile and go ahead and change the output width to 70. That is not 70. After you've done that, you should have changed it to look something like this. Very smooth, this is how you make it look like VHS footage. This is where you start adding your own sauce onto it. For something like this, I would have probably used something from my essentials pack. Something like the basic flash should work right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that to the timeline. Then you get something like this. Something else you can do to make it more interesting is also speed it up. So what you'll wanna do is left click again, go to time, time stretch, and then you'll wanna change the stretch factor from negative 100 to something like negative 20. This way it makes the clip shorter and you'll go ahead and drag that back right here and it'll make it overall faster. So we'll go ahead and add this back right here and add the uh, flashback on it. And so after that, you should have something that looks like this. Something else you can do is add RSMB on here. Another thing you can do to extend it is go ahead and add random edits to it. So go ahead and control D your original footage, bring it after your initial VHS rewind. So what you wanna do with this clip, you'll wanna go ahead and add S random edits onto it and go ahead and change the edit frame length to one. After you've done that, go ahead and copy the effects from your VHS rewind layer onto your S random edits layer. And after you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Pretty cool effect if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys found this helpful, go ahead and hit it up with a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace.